Hello, everyone. Welcome back to OS interview questions. Uh, we This is the part two of our OS interview questions uh, recordings. We covered a few topics in the last uh, <coughs> recording. Uh, if you have not gone through that, you can also like first refer that and come back to this, but uh, everything is independent. Uh, you can also like you know, first go to this one and go back to that one. <laughs> the next question is, uh, the, what is the difference between app-driven orchestration and scheduled orchestration? So these are the two different types of integrations uh, we can create using integration cloud. Um, app-driven orchestration is always uh, exposed uh, as an interface and it has to be invoked to send the request. Whereas schedule orchestration is automatically automated by configuring a time interval schedule. So that is the reason schedule orchestration is automatically invoked like a scheduled process or job. Abdoing orchestration will also have a trigger connection always, that is the entry point, whereas the schedule orchestration will not have any trigger connection because that is automated. We are having a schedule. The next question is, what are various activities we have learned in orchestration or developing integration? So this is actually a screenshot from the uh, orchestration, all the list of activities. Sometimes uh, they may also ask, like, no, in list of activities, what are the actions? Uh, this is a list of activities, but uh, you may not be uh, like, no, uh, having experience of all the activities based on what you learned, what you know, you better like to tell that uh, I have, for example, uh, worked with uh, aside map and stage file activities, which are related to data related activities. I worked on data structure and global variables. This is like no, some advanced activities. If you're not worked on them, uh, don't mention that. And uh, also like to the integration activity where I can call one integration from one to another integration. And there are like no other activities which are used for the logic for each scope switch while activity. If you're not used any of them, maybe like you can mention that uh, I not used while activity, but I used for each scope and switch, etc. And these are very generic uh, activities, logger, note, notification, wait. And the, also here, usually like no, we don't use all these activities in the uh, related to fault. So I would suggest you can mention that you used written activity, which is very common, uh, maybe throw new fault and read more fault. The next question is, what is the difference between assign and map? So assign is used for assigning values to any primitive variables defined using assign activity. Whereas map is used for assigning or mapping values for an input of invoke activity. Assign is internal to OIC, it is developed within integration cloud. Whereas the map is based on XSLT technology, it supports that is also developed in OIC, but it's using external technology called XSLT and it is much more powerful. You can also use different formulas and additional uh, logic in the map activity, which is probably not possible or like not, not powerful in case of assign activity. <clears throat> That's all for today. We'll see in the next uh, recording.